Hi guys, it's Marcy at the OC Zoo. So today is one of our vet days. And one of the things we're gonna do today is with our two burrows. So these guys right here are going to have a farrier come and go ahead and clean and check their hooves or their feet. So these guys are um, gonna get ready pretty soon. We're gonna bring over our veterinarian, then our farrier's gonna come over. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what a farrier is and what they do. And um, these are two of our burrows that are gonna get their hooves checked today. And I have, let's see, I have Pierre right here on this side of me and a male and also Jacques who is a male as well. So both of these guys have been here at the zoo for, let's see, since about 2008 and they were born in 2004. So they are about 16 years old. Now they can live um, up into their late 20s or 30s. Uh, and again, these are both what we call burrows or donkeys. So burro is just the Spanish word for donkey. All right, so I'm just giving them a few little treats. So they're getting us uh, some yams and also some carrots. Uh, those are some of their favorite treats to have for sure. All right, well, as part of our vet day today, like I said, we're gonna take a look at these guys' hooves and we tend to look at these guys about every six to eight weeks um, with respect to their hooves specifically. Uh, and we do some um, health care with them every six to eight weeks. And that means that we have our farrier come in and our veterinarian will also come on over and probably give them a little bit of light sedation uh, so that they're nice and calm and stress-free for when um, they get their hooves checked. So they're gonna get cleaned and trimmed and those hooves on their feet actually house their toes. So it's an outer hard covering called a hoof. And uh, that's where their toes are. So we wanna always make sure that they're getting taken care of appropriately so that when they move, everything is good. All right, so shortly we're gonna get started on doing some of that health care. We'll see you in a few moments. <laughs> Today our burrows are going to get their hooves cleaned and trimmed by a professional farrier. And right now, before that happens, our veterinarian, Dr. Weldy, is going to give a small amount of sedation to make sure that the burrows are nice and calm and less stressed uh, during this procedure, which we're going to tell you a little bit about in just a few moments. So our farrier, Steve, has started on one of our burrows. So right now we are taking a look at Pierre, uh, one of our male burrows. So if you are not familiar with what a farrier is, uh, they are someone that takes care of the uh, health of the burrow's hooves or any type of equine or member of the horse family. So right now he's kind of cleaning out those hooves. He'll be trimming them and also shaping them. So. Um, very important that uh, we do this as with most types of equine you want to make sure their hooves are nice and balanced uh, so they can uh, walk properly and smoothly and put the least amount of use of tendons and ligaments on their feet and legs so we always want to maintain the health of those hooves you can see there's some filing um, happening on the hoof right there. So that's part of the shaping of the hoof and making sure that all um, the outside and inside are even so that when the animal steps on the ground, um, there's an even amount of pressure on them. So along with the farrier, you see zookeeper Hilda there with the burrow. So she's there to make sure the animal stays calm and stress free for the farrier. I'm gonna get a closer look at what the farrier is doing there. Hi, Steve, how you how doing? How you doing? <laughs> Can you tell me a little about what you're doing there, Steve? Okay, the foot is constantly growing. So you have to trim it back every, every six to seven weeks. Right. It, uh, the way they walk, 
in your environment, they walk higher and are lower on one or the other. And it has to be bent, uh, trimmed down so it can uh, be level, flat, and even. Nice. Thank you. Do the tools that you're using have um, certain names? This is a hoof knife. Okay. It's for trimming out the dead dry foot. And we have a pair of nippers that trim the whole foot. Okay. And then there's a rasp to trim it down and like a, it's a file. Ah. <laughs> Can't make noise. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so here you can see a piece of the hoof that was actually uh, trimmed off from the burrow right behind there. That's Pierre again. And the material the hoof is made of is the same thing as your hair and nails, and that is called keratin. So the outer portion you see, that sort of darker gray part along the edge, uh, that part the burrow doesn't have much feeling of, but the inner part they do. So Pierre has been finished now. So his hooves have been all nice and trimmed and cleaned. So he's um, gonna hang out with his zookeeper Hilda for a few moments until he kind of comes out of that light sedation that he is under. And now we have started on our other male burrow. This is Jacques. So burrow is the Spanish word for donkey and burrows are originally from Africa, where they are called the African wild ass. So while we are waiting for the other burrow to get finished with his hoof trimming and cleaning, uh, zookeeper Hilda is giving uh, Pierre a bit of a nice brush, which she does every day. And then she'll also spray him um, on certain parts that are susceptible to lots of flies coming in this time of year. She'll go ahead and give them uh, some spray that's safe uh, to use on their body to deter flies. So you can see she's given Pierre a nice little brush. Do they seem to shed more at certain times of the year, Hilda? Yes, definitely. Hot. They yeah. Shed quite a bit. So she's saying that they definitely shed quite a bit in um, the summertime when it's pretty warm, uh, like it is right now. So she gives them a nice good brush, uh, usually every day, so we can remove any of that hair that needs to be shed so that he can be as cool as possible. So just like we cut or trim our nails and even file them down, um, that's kind of what we're doing uh, with the burrows here. So you can see part of the nails that have been trimmed off, just as if you would cut off your nails. And again, those are made of keratin, the same stuff that your hair and nails are made of. Our zookeepers Hilda and Chris are now walking our burrows around their habitat area. So they have finished with their uh, hook trims and cleanings. So again, they did have some light sedation just to keep it nice and calm and stress-free. So the zookeepers will walk them around a bit until some of that light sedation is not working anymore. So they wanna be nice and safe and make sure the burrows are during, doing very well. Now on the ground here, we can see the evidence of the hoof trimming. Those are some of the um, parts of the hoof that was 
taken off and trimmed just like we often cut and trim our fingernails or toenails and then some of this stuff is also uh, the dirt or any particles that got inside so the farrier cleans all of the hoof out so that's what a lot of this stuff you also see on the ground is. As I mentioned earlier, the word burro means donkey in Spanish. And also, as I mentioned earlier, burros are originally from Africa and again called the African wild ass. Now, in the 1500s, the Spaniards brought burros over to the Americas, and these animals have done very well and proliferated uh, throughout. Uh, the Americas, especially in the deserts of the southwestern part of the U.S. So these guys are known to be very hardy animals that were used as pack animals. Even in the uh, 1840s and 50s during the gold rush, uh, prospectors often used these animals uh, to carry a lot of gear. Uh, they could also handle not having water for significant periods of time. Oftentimes the burrows actually outlived the prospectors. So sometimes a lot of the prospectors would um, die from the really harsh desert conditions, but the burrows are uh, very good at dealing with that. So that's zookeeper Chris right there, kind of hanging out with one of the burrows, making sure he's doing all right and making sure that light sedation wears off and that the burrow is doing okay. So again, our burrows are walking with their zookeepers. Uh, so the keepers wanna make sure that uh, these guys wear off that light sedation that they have and that they're doing well before they will um, leave them in their habitat area. And our farrier has just left um, from cleaning and trimming and shaping those hooves. Now, farriers are very highly specialized uh, trained individuals or professionals that generally are often also blacksmiths. So they actually create and put on horseshoes uh, for some types of equine. Now we don't put horseshoes on our burrows here at the zoo, uh, but for some people that have um, working horses uh, that are doing a lot of activity, they often do put the horseshoes on uh, to protect their hooves. 